Discord. Yeah, and so welcome back. So this time it's chapter 10, VLAN trunking protocol and inter-VLAN communication. So this chapter provides info and commands concerning the following topics. So dynamic trunking protocol, uh, how to set up VLAN encapsulation. So we're going to discuss VTP, how to verify VTP. And then we're going to create our own router on stick or inter-VLAN communication. No? Then we're going to remove uh, L2 capability and then configure uh, inter-VLAN using layer 3 switch. And we also have hands-on lab which uh, provided yung configuration example. No? So this one will take you 30 minutes to perform. So DTP dynamic trunking protocol. So if you type uh, interface 01, no, pasok ka sa config mode sa 01 interface. So how do you uh, uh, make it uh, dynamic? So you have to type switch port mode dynamic desirable. So what will what will happen? This will make the interface actively attempt to convert the link to a trunk. Like in my demo a while ago. Remember yung kaninang demo ko. So hindi natin ma-ping yung uh, uh, PC, di ba? Dito, I was able to create the uh, trunk no? sa interface shoran number 2. As you can see from here. No? So nakatrunk na siya. Pero bakit hindi pa rin ma-ping? Kasi nung, tinang, nung uh, ginawa ko to, hindi ko ginawa dito sa switch 1. So that means hindi siya dynamic. Okay? So, pag, ibig sabihin, pag dynamic, you only need to configure one switch, then anything connected, basta nakatrunk to, it will uh, download the VLAN number. No? Dynamic trunk. So, magiging trunk siya. So, how do you make it uh, trunk? Anybody? Paano maging dynamic? The command is switch port mode dynamic desirable. So, that's the command. Okay, sige nga, lab natin. Ha? Tingnan natin kung uh, gagana to. So, as of now, our uh, environment reachable. Okay, malinaw reachable. Kasi I manually created a trunk. No? Nangyari. Not responding. Ayan, pagbigyan muna natin siya. So, so umiikot, umiikot. <laughs> Boy, nangyari. So, sige, gawin natin mamaya. So, uh, how do you make it auto? Switch port mode dynamic auto. That's the only command you have to type. It will make uh, the interface converted into a trunk link automatically. No? Without typing switch port mode trunk. Okay? Pag tinayip mo naman switch port mode trunk, it puts the interface into permanent trunking. So, permanent na yun. So, hindi yung magbabago. No? Next is the uh, VLAN encapsulation type. So depending sa depende sa series of the switch you both, uh, kung meron silang uh, feature. Ibang uh, 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 switch merong ISL. Okay, yung tinatawag nilang .1Q. So from now on, gagamitin natin .1Q. So what do you mean by .1Q? .1Q uh, is um, uh, 1Q encapsulation, meaning it can traverse uh, different VLAN to different switches. No? So, ito yung mag-activate sa inter-VLAN routing natin. Okay? So, anong uh, EEE standard? Standard 802.1Q. So, dito, shinorkat nila. That 1Q. So, that 1Q meaning it can uh, uh, route different subnet to different switches. No? Which is sometimes called inter-VLAN routing. Ano ulit that 1Q? That one Q is inter-VLAN routing feature. Okay. So, dito sa demo na to, uh, pamasok siya sa 01. Ginawa niyang trunking switch. And then, he type encapsulation method. So, ISL or that one Q is pretty much the similar, similar uh, concept, pero ISL is a much, much older one. So, if you would like to uh, encapsulate or invoke yung inter-VLAN, so you have to type switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1Q. That means uh, you are activating the feature. Okay? Na kahit yung PC is sitting on different subnet or different VLAN, magiging pingable. Okay? Malinaw ha? Yan ang ating dot 1Q. Uh, next one, VTP. VTP is a Cisco proprietary protocol which allow VLAN config 
no? whether you add, delete, or rename, to be replicated sa kabilang switch. Okay? So what is VTP? VTP is a protocol which replicates the VLAN database from one switch to another. So I'll give you an example. So remember, um, dito sa switch na to, pakita ko, we only have a couple of VLANs. Okay, so how many VLANs do we have? Show VLAN. So we have 20 and VLAN 1. No? So hindi na natin ka-count to dahil uh, hindi naman gagamitin yan. You know? That's for token ring, IBM. So I'm gonna create a VLAN. So let's say VLAN um, 30. No? VLAN 40. VLAN 50. Do show VLAN. So yan, na-create na. VLAN 30, VLAN 40, VLAN 50. Malinaw. Na-create na ako. What VTB does is this will be replicated to a client switch. No? So when you say client, uh, you need to manually set the server to client. No? Kasi dito, if I type show VTB status, by default, na-server siya. Okay? Server. So by default, naka-ano? Server mode. How many VLAN do we have? Um... As of now, 6. Paano naging 6 yung VLAN na yun? Sa so, ganito pag-count niya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, sino yung pang 6 niya? So, may pang 6 pa siya. Ah, hindi, sorry, 9. Ito pala. <laughs> revision pala itong binabasa ko. Late kasi, you know? So, revision meaning 6 times siyang uh, uh, in-update. No? 6 times ako nag-create ng VLAN. So, how many VLAN do we have? Nine. Bilangin ko, ha? So, we have six, a uh, nine VLAN existing. Again, VLAN one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Malinaw. If I'm gonna go to switch one and I type show VLAN, as of now, oh, sorry, show um, VTP status, so, let nyo yung mga commands now. We only have 7 VLAN. So, ano missing dito? If I'm going to compare. So, missing dito is 40 and 50. Now, try to imagine, sa trabaho nyo, you have about uh, eight, v 8 switches. No? Uh, let's say project deployment, we only, ha we only have 8. Do you need to log into each switches? just to create a VLAN? It's a waste of time. No? What VTP does is it will propagate Tong VLAN 40 and 50 dito. Okay? Or to 8 switches that is interconnected. Okay? So, ito na. So, paano gagawin ng VTP? Requirement number 1, no? Uh, VTP uh, mode should be server. Anyway, naka server na to. Okay? So, it device mode already server. Pero sa client, Dapat ang uh, VTP mode is client. So, VTP mode client. Yan ang number one requirements. Malinaw. So, uh, do show VTP status. So, client na siya. Na? Client. Okay? And this one is the server. Do show VTP status. Malinaw. Server. Okay? Do show VTP status. Server. Okay? Uh, another one uh, requirement there should be a domain. So, gagawa ka ng domain. VTP domain nexus.com Okay? So, do show VTP uh, nexus.com Okay? So, do ganun din sa kabila. So, dapat may domain. So, this one should have domain. So, uh, the command is VTP uh, domain nexus.com Kailangan pareho. Okay? So, yun lang pinalitan ko. Teka, parang switch 0, switch 1. Malinaw. So, do show VTP status. So, number of existing VLAN 7. Na? Do show VLAN 10, 20, 30. Okay. So, dito... Do show VLAN 10, 20, 30. Ano napansin nyo? Anybody? Sino naka-notice? 
nawala yung nawala yung 50. No? Bakit nawala? Bakit nawala? Parang magic naman yun. Dapat hindi mawala. Sige, gawa ako na yung VLAN pa. Uh, VLAN um, 60. And? Okay. Uh, show VLAN. So, dapat may 60. Lilipat ako sa kabilang switch. And? Wala akong gagawin. Wala akong gagawin. That, six, that VLAN should be propagated dito. Show VLAN. Ayun o, oh, na-propagate na. Okay? So, yun yung VTP. Isa pa, isa pa. Pupunta ako sa switch number 0. Uh, 0 yan, 0. And this one is 1. So, I'm gonna create uh, VLAN 70. Exit. VLAN 80. Exit. VLAN 90. Exit. End. Okay? So, how many VLAN do I have? So, meron akong, uh, ayan, no? there's 60, 70, 80, 90. So, dapat nag-propagate na dito yan. Show VLAN, ayan, nag-propagate on the spot. Successful. Okay? Yun lang ginawa ko, ha? So, ano configuration? The VTP mode should be set to client. And the VTP domain should be the same. Okay? Yun lang, ha? Sa exam, tandaan nyo yun. So that it will propagate. So if I created another switch and uh, connect to the server, he will be able to synchronize the VLANs. Malinaw ba? Any question? So yun ang VTP. Okay? So gagawin nyo yan. Ayan siya, oh. No, VTP. Medyo nag-tab-tab lang din. Dila. Any question? So, you're going to perform that one. Uh, next one. Next time, this is the command. So, what is the command? Show VTP status. Show VTP counters. Next project, inter-VLAN communication using router on stick. So, I'm going to demonstrate to you what is router on the stick. Muna, no? Uh, so this time we're gonna be needing a router. So uh, I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna delete the whole projects. Huh? Delete yun yung buong projects na yun. So we're gonna perform um, this project for 30 minutes. So encapsulation 802.1q meaning uh, uh, the router will be able to route different subnet no, to different VLANs. Let's say, in this scenario, we have meron tayong uh, isang layer to switch. Focus muna tayo dito sa layer to switch project natin. No? So we have uh, three uh, servers. First server is Alpedres 10.10. Second server, sitting on VLAN 20, is uh, IP address 2020. Now, it will not be possible to ping from this workstation 3 to workstation 4. It will be impossible. Kasi nga, rule number 1, they should be on the same subnet. Eh, ito magkaiba, di ba? Ang galing ko nga itong zoom. Magkaiba siya, oh. 20. Paano mo ma-ping yan? Paano mo ma-ping yan? So, gagawa ka dito ng uh, encapsulation 802.1q. Okay? See, since that one Q, that means yung uh, master interface mo has no IP address. Then you will create a sub interface. Kaya natin natawang dot one Q. Meaning sub interface. Sa isang kable, you can configure VLAN 1 with subnet 1. VLAN 10 with sub, uh, um, sub interface dot 10 and subnet 10. Sub interface dot 20. VLAN 20, subnet 20. And subinterface dot 30, VLAN 30, subnet 30. Nakita nyo yung tradition nila. Everything is similar. 30, 30, 30. So ito yung 10, 20, 30. So we have department, sales, engineering, marketing should not be able to broadcast the same traffic. No? So dapat isolated on each domain. But sometimes yung sales team no? As per requirement, they need to access uh, files to marketing. So, dapat, in one point of time, ma-access nyo din to. 
via routed traffic. Okay? Hindi broadcast traffic. Malinaw ba? Malinaw. So, when you say routed traffic, you need a router. Okay? So, ira-route niya dito yung packet, yung frame. And then, papasok dito, it will convert into packet. Then, meron ditong routing table. Let's say, galing ka dito sa PC, which, ha, which has an IP address 10.10. .10. So, hanapin niya yung sub-interface.10. Okay? And then, uh, let's say, piniping mo uh, 20.20. He will look up the table of the routes. Then, makikita niya sa table, yung VLAN 20 na yun is sitting on sub-interface.20. So, ira-route niya dito yan. So, pupunta siya sa VLAN 20. Papasok dito. So, this interface, um, 5 to 8, port number 5, 6, 7, 8. Ando yung PC natin. So, mapiping niya to. Okay? Malinaw ba? Malinaw? So, gagawin niya for 30 minutes, ha? 30 minutes. Lalab niyo to. So, paano yung lab? So, ito na. So, manood na kayo. You need to perform this lab. Kailangan yung lab. So, checking ko mamaya. I wanna examine. Ping, sabihin ko, pakiping, uh, punta sa workstation 3, pakiping si workstation 5. Okay? So, first of all, you need the layer 2 switch. Layer 2. Okay? And then you need uh, three workstation. So, uh, first, second, third. Bakit naging 4, 5, 6? Kasi gamit na siya. So, uh, close the old packet tracer. Open a new one. So, ganun. Ano? Kuklose niyo yung luma. Otherwise, maling workstation number makukuha niya. So, if you would like to get workstation 3, so, gamit labas muna kayo ng 1. And then, zero yan eh. 1. No? Susunod 2. Ito. Tsaka nyo ilabas ng 3. Okay? Workstation 3. Workstation 4. Para hindi confusing. Workstation 5. Okay? Malinaw ha? Workstation 3 has an IP address of... So, ganito mag-configure. Teka, na-record ko ba ito? Oh, mamaya. Ayan, recording na pa. <laughs> so, go to fast internet. Gawin nyo itong lab na ito, no? Kasi you won't be able to ask me question during uh, working. Kasi may work din ako. Ano? So, 192.168. Subnet 10. Okay? Doon ako makuha. IP address 10. Automatically, na-detect niya as slash 24. Now, this time you need a gateway. So, yung kailangan, lagyan mo ito ng gateway. Punta kayo ng interface. Gateway. So, what will be the gateway? It will be 10.1. Ito naman, 20.1. Ito, 13.1. Okay? So, this time, gagamit na tayo ng router to route packets. Layer 3, no? So, uh, 192.168.20.20. Yun lang, yun lang. Sorry, PC3 pala dito ako. 10. 10.1. Ganun, no? Kasi this will be the router's uh, IP. So, close. Next is uh, 4. Lagay ng IP. Paano maglagay? Ganito. So, punta ka lang sa gateway. So, ano gateway nito? Anybody? That one. Okay? Gagawin nyo to. Mag-comment na kayo. That one. Then, interface. What will be the static? 192.168.20.20 Subnet uh, slash 24. Malinaw. So, ganun na, no? Um, sino may question? Sino may question? So far, wala naman. Okay. Um, workstation number 5. Uh, gateway. So, what will be the gateway nito? Uh, Mr. Tatanong ako. So, uh, Adrian, Adrian, Sir Adrian, what will be the gateway of Workstation 5? Online 30.1. 30.1. Okay, ganun lang ah. Uh, then IP address is uh, 192.168.30.30. Okay, so verify. So that's the first step you need to do. Verify uh, may IP, okay? Next, you need to connect to the switch. So, we need to connect this one to uh, the switch. Na? Lagi nakatap to. Hirap tanggalin. <laughs> Baba ako nga. So, ganito connectivity. Nakita nyo? Fast Ethernet 0 to 2.4. So, lagyan natin ang switch. So, I'm gonna use straight through. Kasi ako kakabit? Any, anywhere between 2 to 4 or 2, 3, 4. No? So, lalagay ko sa 2. Malinaw. Kasi yung VLAN... 
10 is sitting, is using member uh, 2 to 4, no? 2, 3, 4. Malinaw. Ito namang uh, workstation 4. Sa ako ipapasok, uh, Alex Sangeles. Itong workstation 4, sa ako ipapasok, anong port number sa switch? 3, sir. Pwede 3. That's good. Kasi nakalagay doon. Hindi, hindi pwede 3, pare. <laughs> I know we assign to port number 5 or 8. Okay? Doon nyo lang papasok. Else, kasi i-add nyo to sa VLAN 20. Interface 5, 6, 7, 8. Diba? So, dito kayo papasok workstation 4. So, papasok kong workstation 4. Papuntang uh, saan, Christian? Anong port number? 5. Okay, okay. Workstation 5 naman, um, Francis, saan ko ipapasok? Anong interface? Yung may VLAN 30? 9. 9, tama, tama. Sa may uh, interface designation siya. So, tawag dito VLAN membership, na? So, ayan. So, tama na yan. And then, um, dito na tayo sa di next diagram, which is uh, uh, inter-VLAN. Okay? So, dito tayo sa router. So, we need a router. So, you're gonna put a router here. So, uh, kunin nyo na lang uh, 2960. Ano ba bang available meron? 2960 lang. XM. Okay? Just, just get 2960. And then, tandaan nyo, take note, fast Ethernet zero, ha? So, dun yung kukonek. Nakita nyo to? So, mataba siya. So, um... Router to switch, what will be the cable? Straight through, no? Fast Ethernet 0. So, uh, saang port ko ikakabit, uh, Nico? Saang port na switch, Nico? O, si Nino na lang. Nino, Nino. Anong port number ko kakabit to? As per diagram. Zero one. Zero one, tama. Okay? Kasi one, one uh, misconfig, this won't be successful. Stawag dito, router on stick. As you can see, yung router nakatuhog lang doon. Okay? Kita yung red? Kasi interface down pa siya. Okay? And then gagawa tayo ng isab interface dito. Na? So, ganito gagawin natin. So, pasok kayo sa router, command line interface. Type no. Okay? Type no lang. Then we have to create these sub-interfaces such as uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.10. So I'm going to use magnifying glass. So 1, 10, 20, 30. Malinaw. So router, uh, to go to um, any, um, supervisor mode, yeah. enable. Show IP in brief to uh, display <clears throat> interface. I only have one interface. Don't worry, isa lang naman yung gagamitin natin. Ha? So, show run. Just wanna show you, walang laman yung IP address. So, lalagyan natin ng IP address to. Ha? To uh, go to uh, configuration mode, config terminal, pasok sa interface 00. Okay? Okay? So, I'm inside interface 0. Napapasok ako sa interface, sub-interface 0.1. Uh, yeah. So, nandun na ako sa loob na sub-interface. Malinaw. And then I'm gonna create uh, VLAN 1 and VLAN uh, uh, a subnet uh, IP, with an IP address. Anong IP address nito? Ayan. 192. So dito ako VLAN 1 ha? So dot 1. So meaning sub-interface to. Isang kable lang pero ang dami. So 1.1. Uh, malinaw. So lalagyan natin ng IP address to. So IP address <clears throat> 921681.1 slash 24. Okay, ganun lang ha. So, configuring IP on LAN is only allowed if sub-interface sub ready configure part of IEEE. So, that means you need to invoke encapsulation 802.1Q. Tatanan nyo ha. Encapsulation 802.1Q. 
Again, ano uli yung encapsulation ni 802.1q? So, it can route different VLAN. Okay. Ito na question mark. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, uh, so tawag, sabi dito, uh, what will be the uh, VLAN ID? So, you can put VLAN 1 to 1005. Malinaw. So, since this is encapsulation dot uh, uh, one, sabi interface, I'm going to put dot one Q. Okay? Yan lang. And then, no shot to uh, power on. Don't worry, nasa book to. Then, do show run. Punta ka sa interface zero. <clears throat> Ayun, no? Yung interface zero has no IP address. Hindi nyo gagalawin yan. Okay? Yung sub-interface, that one is using, naku, ba't walang IP address? Hindi ko pa nalagyan, no? That one, Q native. Okay? And then, lagyan natin ng IP address. Uh, 192.168. That one. So, ito yung gateway. I'm creating a gateway. No shot. Then, do show run. Okay, let's check kung nagawa nga natin tama. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Ayan. So, may IP address na, no? Sa ganun, ano? Isa-isahin nyo. Isa-isahin nyo. And then, next step, dot 10. Next one, dot 20. Next one, dot 30. Malinaw. Malinaw. Ganun lang, no? Isa pa, isa pa. So, tulungan nyo ako this time. I would like to create this interface, dot 10. Ito yung ginagawa ko, ha? Ayan, no? Dot 10, 20, 30. Okay? So, ano una kong gagawin? Anybody, um, tatawag na ako. <laughs> Talagang matututo kayo dito sa Nexus. Kasi magtatawag ako. Hirap naman i-magnify nito. Okay, so what will I do? Paano gumawa ng sub-interface 10? Mr. Raymond Christopher Ibarra. Sige, sige, demo muna ako. <laughs> <laughs> so, create a sub-interface. So, gawa ka ng sub-interface. Uh, 0.10. Malinaw. And then, invoke encapsulation. Encapsulation uh, .1q uh, VLAN 10. And then, that's the only time you can put IP address. So, ano tong IP address na to? Gateway yan. Gateway. Then, do not... Oh, Ano nalimutan ko? Anybody? John Arvin. Sabi, incomplete command. What did I forgot? Subnet, sir. Galeng. Ayan, estudyante. Next. Okay. Next step, we need to turn on the interface. Okay? No shot. So, do show run. Tingnan natin kung merong uh, sub interface 10. Ayan, tama na yan. Okay? Sub interface 10. VLAN 10, subnet 10. Okay? How about subnet 20? Uh, Ezekiel, ikaw naman, ikaw. Ezekiel, tulungan mo ako. Ano gagawin ko? Subnet 20. Tama, interface 0 slash uh, internet 0 slash 20. The 20, tama. Next? Uh, encapsulation that 1, Q. 20. 20. Correct. Correct. And then IP address. Okay? 20. One. Then subnet mask. Ganun lang, no? And then no shot. Thank you. Thank you. Pwede mo na mute. Uh, let's verify. Show run. Ay, hindi pa. Do show run. Ganun na ilimutan. Oh, ilan na yung bilan natin? Dot 1, dot 10, bilan 20. Saan pa? 30, 30 naman, 30. Um, sino kaya tatawagin? Adrian naman. Sir Adrian, tulungan nyo ako. Gusto kong gumawa ng uh, bilan 30. Uh, in sir. Interface, tama. Fast Ethernet, 0 slash 0. So that, that Sabi interface 30. Okay? Then encapsulation. Encapsulation, EOT. 1 Q. Uh, VLAN 30. Tama, tama. Yes, sir. Then IP address 192 68 30.1. Then subnet mask. 
Este no shit. Este no shot. Okay. Oh yeah, may 30 na ako. Shoran. Okay. Bilan 1, 10, 20, 30. Ano pa ba nalimutan ko? Let's check natin. Tapos na. Hanggang 30 lang. Oh. Hanggang 30 lang. Na? So nagawa ko na yan lahat. Tandaan nyo, no IP address. And all interfaces should be up and running. So verify natin kung up and running. Let's go to the uh, router. Punta tayo sa ating uh, router. Oh, bakit, bakit, bakit red yan? Hindi pa natin na no shot C. Zero. Tingnan nyo ha. Show IP interface brief. Oh, down lahat. Oh. Down. Why? Ito yung, ito yung ano yan. Technique dyan. Kailangan ino shot mo to. Yung zero. Okay? So we have uh, four sub interface. Laging datuan kasi gateway. So all traffic will be routed to this four gateways. Sandali, paano naging four ang gateways? Kasi nga, sub interfaces. Okay, isang router pero apat na gateway na gawa natin. So ito na ako man, pasok sa um, interface 0. You need to turn on yung 0 kasi. No? Interface 0. No shot. Tingnan niyo ha, down lahat 'yan at down na. Ito na, ni no shot ko na. Mm. Sabi uh VLAN 10 20 30 change state 2. Okay, nag-up na siya. So, uh, show IP in brief. Up na yan. Oh. <laughs> green na yan. Green. Magi-green na yan. Ano tong orange na to? What do you mean by that? Learning. And how many uh, seconds ang learning? 30 seconds. Na? 30 seconds. Yan. Okay? So, next, we need to configure the switch. Kasi kung, kung pupunta ako dito sa PC1, Hindi pa rin pingable to eh. Huh? Ito lang gagawin nyo, no? Piping ko tong 5. Ano bang IP address na 5? Uh, IP? Type nyo lang IP. <laughs> IP config. 3030. Okay? 3030. Huh? So, pupunta ako dito sa PC3. IP config. 1010. So, pag ito pinning ko, hindi pa to reachable. Pero pag pinin ko sarili ko, syempre pingable ako. Okay, okay, pingable ako. Pero kung pipin ko 30-30, walang CLS dito. No, walang CLS. Pipin ko 30-30. Um, okay, hindi pa reachable. Dahil wala pang vila ng switch. So, yun ang una, susunod kong gagawin. No? Lalagyan natin ng vila ang switch. Okay, punta na tayo dito sa switch. Yan. Command line. And. Uh, pakita ko ang uh, blanco, no? Kasi fresh na fresh, eh. Okay? Fresh na fresh. So, hindi pa reachable. Gusto kong pakita habang uh, kinoconfigure natin, piniping ko. No? Yan. Tabi ka muna. Tabi ka muna. <laughs> okay? Time out, ha? Time out. Yan. Okay? Ito na, ito na. So, we need to create VLANs and subnets. Okay. So, first, um, we need to go, remember, VLAN 1. So, gagawin natin ito, VLAN 10. Hindi yan, hindi yan. Ito pala. VLAN 10, 20, and 30. So, taas natin ang konti. Taas pa, taas pa. Hindi ko makita. Taas pa, taas pa. Ano ba? Store ba ito? Tanggalin ko muna ito. Yan. Yan. Okay. So, VLAN. Saan na yung ping? Okay, ito yung ping natin. Not reachable, ha? Malinaw. So, ito yung tinitingnan ko. Port number 2 and 4. Okay? So, pupunta ako sa interface 2 and 4. So, the command will be interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 2 to 4. May space, ha? Pag walang space, mag -e error yan. And then, I would like to uh, uh, move interfaces 2 to 4 to VLAN 10. So, first, kailangan maging access. Kasi isang LAN port, LAN, isang LAN cable, isang PC, no? Kaya, that's why switch port mode 
access. Okay? Huwag niyo kakalimutan yan. And then, switch port access VLAN um, 2 to 4 VLAN 10. Okay? Malinaw. Ayan. So, that means uh, interface 2 to 4 has been moved to VLAN 10. So, how do I verify? Do show VLAN. Ayun na. Oh. Interface 10 2 to 4. Malinaw. Since, na, since walang label to, walang label, lalagyan natin ng label. Name, sales. Okay. Minsan hindi gumagana yung command yan. So you need to use description. Okay. So do show VLAN. Ayan. Ay, hindi gumana. Mamaya gagana yan. Okay. Ngayon, ba't di pingable? Sino ba yung piniping natin? Di ba si 30? So we need to go to uh, VLAN 30. So, punta ka, create mo muna yung VLAN 30. So, exit ka. Uh, config, uh, pasok sa interface. Um, um, saan ako papasok? Oh, ikaw naman, uh, uh, Sir Adrian. Gagawin ko yung uh, marketing. Uh Oo. -oh. Interface? Range. Uh, nine. Range? Oo, oh, tama, tama. Fast Ethernet. 9 to uh, 12. Tama, tama. No. Anong okay. next command? Switch port? Uh, switch port. Mode? Access. Access. Yes. Oh, tama. And then, to uh, move interface 9 to 12 sa VLAN 30, anong command? Switch port? Anybody? Uh, right? Access. Tama. Switch port access VLAN 30. Ang galing! Okay. Uy! Ayan. Okay. So do show VLAN. Ayan. VLAN 30. 9, 10, 11. Malinaw. So, dapat napiping na yan. So, dapat napiping na yan. Dapat napiping na yan. Kasi na-route ko na yan dun eh. No? Yan lang yan eh. Ano uh, siya? Do a shot. Okay. Nakapasok sa 2. Pwede pa siya napiping. Okay. Eh? Ah, uh, may nalimuto. Isa pa, isa pa. Sige. Punta muna tayo sa 20. Uh, interface. Ano bang interface? 5. Fast Ethernet. 5 mm. to 8. Tama, tama. A range. Range. Galing, galing. Range. Yeah. Yeah, range. Uh, what's next? What's next? Anyone? Switch port. Switch. Mode. Switch. Access. Mode access. Then, switch port. Access. VLAN 20. No shot. Yun, no shot. Ang nalimutan ko kanina. No? Let's verify. Do show, do show VLAN. Kayo na 30. Okay. Ports 9 to... Uh, ports 9. So, nana, dapat 5 to 8. Uh, ah, 20 pala yung ginawa ko. Okay. Tama, tama. 5 to 8. Malinaw, malinaw. Ngayon, nalimutan ko... Um, Ino shot yung VLAN 10. Ganito mag uh, no shot. Uh, int VLAN 10. Ay, nag na. nag na. Okay. Ang bilis. Hindi ko pa nga na no shot. Pasok ako sa VLAN 30. Int VLAN 30. Ay, nag na. Int VLAN 20. Okay. Exit. Exit. Save WR. Okay. Uh, show VLAN. Malinaw. Malinaw ating VLAN. And then, um, what else? What else? Uh, show run. To verify. Tingnan natin. Uh, 2 VLAN 10. Malinaw. Ha? Ayan, oh, ayan. Port number 2 to uh, interface 4 VLAN 10. Okay. Ngayon, ba't di pingable? Meron pa isa encapsulation. Nalalagyan natin encapsulation. So, uh, may nalimutan ako. So, uh, kaya hindi siya na pink. Pupunta muna ako VLAN 10. Uh, config. Uh, interface range. Uh, fast Ethernet 0. 2 to 4. Kaya ba encapsulation? Parang hindi niya kaya. Hindi kaya. Na. So, depende sa switch yun. No? So, since di kaya, I'm gonna refer dito sa ating lab manual. So, yun lang gagawin niya. Ito lang. Chato. No need to perform this. And this one, okay? Ang objective lang is to route between different VLAN. So, this is the config. 
ito yung corp, you need to find out saan yung corp. Okay? So, ito yung config ng corp. Ito yung ginagawa ko. No? Okay? So, you need to type those. Ignore nyo na lang tong uh, serial kasi wala siyang serial. Okay? So, nagawa ko naman yan. Okay, yan yung ginawa ko kanina. So, naglation description, sama ko sa akin, hindi gumana. May mga ganun eh, depende sa version ng uh, iOS. Na. So, these are the config, okay? Ayun. Hindi, wala na. Hindi, yun, yun lang yun, yun lang yun. Ayun. I haven't created a route. Okay, so, when you say router, trabaho ng router is to route packet, no? Or, to advertise it's um, broadcast. Meaning, kung sa, if I'm sitting VLAN 10, advertise ko sa 20. So, when you type network 192.168.20, ibig sabihin, binabato ko yung traffic. I am advertising the traffic. Malinaw. So, babalikan natin, ano? So, yun ang wala pa tayong config, kaya hindi siya ma-ping. So, I'm gonna go um, sa corp. So, when you say corp, it's a router. So, balik tayo dito sa ating router. So, gagawa lang ako ng router EIGRP um, uh, process number. Anong process gusto niya? 10 niya. Ito lang yan, yan. Router 10. Meaning, it creates EIGRP routing process on process number 10. Okay? Process number 10. So, gagawin ka na ito. Process number 10. Then, how do you broadcast? Ito na, ito na. Pag ito in-enter ko, dapat pingable na siya. Na? So, I want to show you um, asan na yung ating screen. Yan, yan. Yan, okay. okay. Ito na, babroadcast ko na. Network. So, how do you advertise? Just type in the subnet. 192.168.10.0. Okay? And then, next one, 20. Next one, 30. Okay, so that's how, how you advertise. 10, 20, 30. And then, how will you know kung may router? The, the, the command is show uh, IP protocols. So, meron na ba? Yes. Na? So, meron na tayong routing. EGRP 10 process. What are routed? 10, 20, 30. So, may missing pa. May one pa yan. May one pa. So, ulitin ko. Um... Router, EIGRP, process number 10. So, uh, I'm going to broadcast network 192.168.1 submit. Okay? So, verify do show IP uh, protocols. So, yun na. So, 1 up to 30 is being broadcasted. No? Ngayon ba, hindi pa siya ma-ping? Uh, ito pa. So, siguro may missing pa. May isa pa. Sige, hanapin natin yan. Sa layer 2, um, VLAN 10, tama naman. Yun. We haven't created the trunk. Okay? So, meaning, uh, yung 0, 1 should be trunk. Okay, yun lang yun. Ah, nag-assign pa siya ng ano. Tingnan mo, tingnan mo. Sige, sige. So, may kulang pa pala. So, nag-assign siya ng IP address sa VLAN. Tama, tama. So, uh, ito yung ginawa niya. So, interface VLAN. Exit. Exit. Um, I'm going to show you show IP in brief. So, yung 1 is up. As you can see, 1 is up. Pero, hindi siya trunk. So, gagawin ko siyang trunk. Configuration terminal interface 0 slash 1. Switch port mode trunk. Yun lang yun. Okay, trunk na siya. So, that means multiple VLAN can pass. No? Ngayon, we need to put an IP address. So, lalagyan natin yung VLAN 1 ng um, 1.2 and 1.1. Yun lang, yun lang, no? 
So VLAN 1 is 1.2. Then gateway is 1.1. Sige, ito na. Okay, so uh, exit. Interface VLAN 1 has an, oh, wrong spelling. Has an IP address, IP address. Hindi, VLAN 1. Okay, VLAN 1 will have an IP address 192.168. Ganun paggawa na. No shot. Okay. Okay, so nag-up na yung VLAN 1. So that means pingable na yan. So ano ginawa natin? Nilagyan lang ng IP address. And then, um, kailangan pumasok ko sa interface 1. Ah, hindi. Teka, pss. Conf T, pasok sa VLAN 1. Lalagyan natin ng gateway. IP default. Default. Ay, bakit ayaw? Exit, exit, exit. IP default. Yun. Pag ayaw, uh, hindi available yung command. 192.168.1.1. Okay. So, may gateway. No shot. Yun. O oh, yung pingable na. Okay. Pingable na. Pingable na. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, ano yung technique? Ano yung huling part? Ito, ito, ito. Huling part. Nalagyan ko lang ng gateway. Okay. So that means, if you forgot to put a gateway, ito, show, run. Pag walang gateway, yung VLAN 1, you won't be able to ping anything. Ito lang nalagay ko. Okay, gateway. Tatanggalin ko, ah. No. IP. Default. Default. O, tinanggal ko. Okay, walang gateway. Walang gateway. Pingabal pa ba? Gumagalaw pa ba yan? Matakbo pa pa. Pingable pa rin. Pingable, no? Uh, VLAN. How about in VLAN? No. VLAN 1. Hindi mo pala pa yun. Hindi yung VLAN 1. Okay. So, nagra-route na siya. Nagra-route na siya. Okay? So, pa paano tumatakbo yun? Paano tumatakbo yun? Kasi nga, nag-create ako ng table kanina, di ba? Ito yan, ito yan. Ngayon lang nag-take effect. Actually, walang relation yung... Uh, um, VLAN 1 kasi IP address lang to. No, kahit walang IP to, uh, uh, meron naman tayong routing table. Meron tayong protocol. Show IP pro. Ito yun. Show IP pro protocols. Ay, sorry. Show IP show protocols. No? Okay? Yung kanina yung tinayip natin. Kaya, reachable na. Next. Ping natin si... Tingnan natin kung mapiping natin isa pang PC. Anong IP address na? Yung 2020. Did you remember that? Yung 2020? Haba na. No? no, yung 20. Yung pangalawang PC sa, di ba, galing tayong sales. Uh, haba naman ito. Marami. Sa gagawin yan. Ayan na. Ay, hindi yan. Uh, ito, 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 ito. 2020. So, nandito ako sa workstation 3. Gusto ko ma-ping tong 2020. Huh? Pingable na kaya? Of course, pingable na yan. 20.20. Okay. Don't be frustrated at the first ping. Kasi, ang ginagawa niya, learning yan. Okay? So, nag-fail sa first ping, yung second, second one will be reachable. Ano tawag dito? Learning yan. Learning. Okay? So, reachable siya. Okay? Pero ano IP address ko? I'm sitting on 10.10. .10. Pingable si 2020. Hindi lang si 20, pati si 30. Sub, uh, PC sitting on subnet uh, VLAN 30. Ayun, reachable. Malinaw. So, ganyan yung inter-VLAN. Inter so, ang technique dito, meron kasing gateway. Napiping ko yung gateway. Tingnan nyo. Oh, 30.1, reachable. 
20.1, reachable. 10.10, .10, reachable. Yan ang ating objectives. Multiple gateway. Okay? Multiple gateway. So, saan ginagamit yan in real life? No, sa amin kasi, uh, very uh, complicated ang setup namin sa Dell. So, we have a VDI sitting on different uh, VLANs. No? So, itong, uh, <clears throat> let's say, sales, ina-assign namin sa ibang VLAN, engineering sa ibang VLAN, market sa ibang VLAN. So, they won't be able to broadcast each traffic in such a way na very efficient, utilizing only encapsulation 802.1Q. Okay? So, ano effect nito? Magiging mabilis yan. No, kung yung marketing puro uh, heavy traffic, hindi maapektuhan sa engineering. Okay? Kung ito, let's say, upload na upload ng mga video picture, hindi maapektuhan sa engineering and marketing. Hindi ba bagal internet yan? Okay? So, yun lang gagawin natin. Ano? No need to connect sa ISP. Ito lang ha. Corp and switch lang. Okay? Any question? So, asan ang config ng corp? Ito nga. You know. Corp. Okay? Yan lang ginawa ko ha. Uh, yan. Hindi, ISP. ISP. Corp. Pasa yung corp. Ito, ito, ito. Yan, corp. Ito lang remove nyo kasi wala tayong interface 00. Okay? Tanggalin nyo lang yan. Tanggalin nyo to. Erase nyo yan. No need to perform this. No need to perform this. Ang dito na kayo kagad. In short. Interface 01. Okay? And then, config ng layer 2 switch. Layer 2 switch. Yan. Okay? So, practice natin. Any question? Any question? Bago kayo mag-lab. Kasi medyo mahaba yan. Tapos mamaya na yung spanning tree para hihimay-himayin natin. Para hindi nakakahilo. Ha? So, hands on lab. So, hands on lab. Saan na tayo? Uh, remember yung VTP kanina? Mag-VTP mo na kayo. Ha? Hindi ko alam ng page yan. Eh. Actually, um, kinapa ko lang. Wala akong ginawa. Nag-VTP, VTP lang ako. Ano? For... Uh, Siguro 5 minutes lang yan. 5 minutes lang yan. Na? So, pang pangatlong lab nyo for tonight is um, inter VLAN. Okay? Ayan ang 30 minutes. Anong page yan? Up to page ito, ito. Uh, dami harang. Uh, 289. Aba yan, ha? So, gagawin nyo ito ngayon. 275. 289, 275. Ay, lumabas yung account. Okay. Okay. 35. So, 601. So, start kayo ng 6. Sige, ganyan yung 605. To 640. So, dapat 640 tapos na. na? Tama ba? Tama, tama. Ano yung yan? Na-disconnect yung external display ko. Sandali. Anyway. Uh, okay. So, gawin na natin to. Unless you have any question. Do you have any question? Okay, gawin na natin. Sir, so, yung ano, layer yung layer to switch, same din yung sa switch, di ba? Oh. Or... So, so itong layer 3 do not perform this. You only need to perform corp and layer 2. Okay? Corp and layer 2. So pipiliin yung switch yung uh, 2960, hindi na mo ko. So ito lang gagawin niya. Right? Then make sure you're uh, pingable from uh, PC5 to PC3, PC5 to PC4. PC4 dapat reachable PC3 and PC5. Na? So no need to perform uh, layer 2, switch 1. Layer 2, switch 2 kaagad. Na? No need to perform this one. Chato, no need to perform that. Na? Okay. Any any uh, question pa? Okay, kung wala na, e-end ko to. Ayan, that's good. E-end ko to kasi... Um, Para ma pag in ko kasi ito, doon lang lalabas yung uh, recording eh. Masa save na. Okay, so see you uh, around, uh, ano oras ba? 6.40. Ay, sorry. Ano oras na pala sa Pilipinas ngayon? 4? 4, sir. Tama, 4. Nalilito ako eh. Australia kasi. Up to, see you uh, 4.40 p.m. Okay? 
uh, and if you have any question, just pop in sa ating uh, group chat dito sa Skype natin, CCNA May 30. Uh, okay? Sir, parang hindi pa ako sa audio sa group chat. Ah, wala ba? Um, yes, sige, na-add mo na ako. Na-add mo na ako. Na-add mo na ako. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, ano name mo? Name mo? Alexus. Ah, ito Alexus. I-add kita dito. Hindi po ay question ba kayo? Paano ba yung add ng person? Paano ba yung add ng person? Ayun yun. Alexus. Anong oras, sir? Babalik? Alex. And sino wala pa dito? Si... Christian Bacani ba? Christian Bacani. Wala ka sa chat. Christian Bacani. Sino pa wala sa chat? Si Christopher wala yata. 4.35, sir. Babalik. Si Barra. Ayan, done. Okay? 4.35. Make, make sure na dito kayo. Ha? Sa lahat na dito, na-add na ba? May message ako. Oh, right, sir. Okay. So, nandito na lahat. Ha? Dito yung chat natin. Okay. So, we're gonna come back uh, 4.40 p.m. Okay. So, perform nyo. Ha? So, magkocall ako mamaya. Sabihin ko pakiping uh, yung PC5. <laughs> Ganun lang. Ha? I wanna make sure you learn. Gusto ko matuto talaga kayo. Ha? Okay. Thank you. See you later. I'm sir, hindi ko po nakikita yung, <laughs> yung group chat wala pa. Yung group wala chat ka, wala pa. Wala ka sa group. Anong name mo ulit? Anong name mo? Alexis, sir. I-chat ko sa'yo rito sa Zoom. Ito. Hindi, ito. Nasa, ano na ako? Nasa, hello, Alexis. Ayan, in-invite na kita. You need to accept. Ah, okay. Alright, sir. Noted. Ah, si, uh, ayan, Bakani. Andito na ba? Bakani. Yeah, nandito na pala. Yeah. Hi, uh, Ayan. Ayan, kita mo na ako, Ayan. Ayos, ayos. Okay, I want to make sure nandito lahat. Okay, thank you, thank you. See you later. 4.40 p.m. Bye.